If you haven't grilled your pizza, then you're missing out on one of the best flavor experiences ever. I'm sure you've heard about it, but you might not have given it a try because it does sound a little bit intimidating. The first thing that came to my mind when I first heard about grilled pizza is that dough is gonna stick on the grill. Once you get past that fear, you're home free. To me, cooking your pizza on the grill is the easiest way to get to those high temperatures of a wood-fired brick oven from a pizzeria. And it's a great way to entertain and keep your kitchen clean. First things first, you wanna make sure that your grill grates are clean. Then you wanna get that grill nice and hot, at least 400 up to about 500 or so degrees. Once your grates are cleaned and before you put your dough on, you can use a brush just to put your oil right on the grill. Another trick I like to do to get the oil onto my grates is to get a big wad of paper towels or an old dish towel and dip that into your oil, then you rub it on your grates. Next, you have to create a situation that's going to make it easy to transfer your dough from your prep area to the grill. And the best way to do that is to use semolina flour or cornmeal. That's gonna keep it nice and dry on the bottom and keep it from sticking to your pan. Also use a cookie sheet that does not have a rim on it so that it can slide off. This will mimic the same thing as a pizza peel. So if you have a pizza peel, um, feel free to use that. One thing you wanna remember before you put your dough on the grill is to have all your pizza toppings ready to go. These pizzas come together way quicker than they do in the oven. The pizza I'm making today is a grilled pesto pizza with chicken, mozzarella, and ricotta. We will post the recipe in a link below. Okay, my toppings are ready, and I'm ready to put this right on the grill. Once you put your crust down on the oiled grates, then you're gonna brush the top as well with a little oil. To flip your crust, just use a big spatula, or better yet, a pizza peel if you have one. It only takes a couple minutes to get it a little bit crispy and golden and get those grill marks on. Once you've got grill marks, you'll know it's time to flip. After you flip the pizza, turn your grill down a little bit so that you've got time to top it and let it finish cooking. All right, nice and golden, a little bit crispy. It's gonna be good. Now you're gonna wanna top your pizza pretty quickly. We've got pesto going down in place of a traditional marinara. Now I'm gonna top it with my chicken mixture and some cheese. Whatever toppings you're gonna put on your pizza, now's the time. Okay, it's just about done. I'm gonna close the top so that the cheese melts and it gets all good and gooey. We all know what goes well with pizza. I think it's ready to come off. It's time to dig in. Oh, it smells so good. I like to throw on a little fresh basil at the end and dinner is served. You've got some good bits of char, but it's not burned by any means. The crust is good and crispy. There's no soggy crust here, which I love. So there's just a few things to remember. A clean, hot grill, an easy way to transfer your dough to the grill, and have all your items prepped in advance. And that's how you grill pizza. For more great recipes like this and how-to videos, don't forget to visit Well Done Food on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Manja.